What's up guys, Scrum 7 here. We're going to be doing something a little different today. I'm going to teach you guys how to make Resident Evil 3, the good old games release, look better on PC. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the video settings. Uh, display mode, that should just be your native resolution. Uh, presentation, full screen. Personally, I think integer scaling looks better. Uh, some people might prefer screen fit. I, I prefer integer. But, you know, that's at the end of the day, that's your choice. Uh... This should both be set, uh, anti-aliasing and anisotropic filtering should both be set to, uh, set by application. Uh, I keep V-Sync set that way as well. Uh, aspect radio, ratio correction, uh, you want to leave that by default on, otherwise it'll stretch the image out to fill your monitor, and no one wants that. That looks terrible. I've never liked aspect ratio stretching. So all of that, that's how you want that to go. Uh, so we're going to boot up the game. I just realized it's playing through the desktop. That's, there'll be a little bit of an echo. I'll actually just keep talking. So we're on the main menu, and what we're going to do is the readme file is actually incorrect. Uh, it says that the button is F5. It is not. It is F1. And this opens up the settings menu. So uh, video is where you select your resolution. Uh, don't worry about the numbers on the left. Just pick the number on the right that's the closest to your monitor's native resolution. So for me, I have a 1080p monitor, so I go by 1024. Uh, 32-bit. Uh, and then others, you can uh, play movie, texture filtering, that's where that is. Just Those are both on by default, they look fine. And this is what that looks like with those settings. These are not the default settings. Uh, I You have to go in and change a lot of these settings when you first boot up the game. But yeah, that's how you do that. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. Scroll on a seven, signing off.